You know, we have over 20,000 apps available for BlackBerry, and that's just an app world. And a lot of developers also make their apps available on their own websites, and there's other stores you can buy stuff from. So, you know, if you look at the top apps for the other platforms, you'll find more or less the same applications, or if not, maybe a specific one, one that's very similar to it. So, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of apps for BlackBerry out there. Um, and you can find them all in App World. I have a couple favorite apps right now. So one of them is uh, one called Page One's Personal Assistant. Um, it's available on BlackBerry. It's available on other platforms too. But the experience on BlackBerry is great. So it's a um, kind of like a personal assistant application. I can add all my uh, credit cards, my bank account, and all my airline and hotel programs to it. So anytime like there's a charge or you know an increase in my points, because I love tracking my points and then when I can get my next free ticket, um, they're automatically these updates are pushed down to me. So it's, it's kind of one of our super app features, right? So what makes an app on BlackBerry better than any other platform is you know, we have a always on, always connected, and then contextual too. So I get these push notifications of what's changing in my accounts. Um, and that's, you know, that's kind of more of a, of a business one. On the, the fun side, um, I really do like our 7 Digital Music Store. So 7 um, Digital actually makes it. It's available on uh, BlackBerry and Playbook. So great. it's a great way for me to get music. Um, but if you get music from any other short, if you get music from iTunes, you can sing it to your, um, your BlackBerry, your Playbook as well. Um, and then the other one I really love is Foursquare. So I'm a big uh, Foursquare fanatic. Again, available on platforms, but on BlackBerry, it's, uh, it's a unique experience. And I really uh, I love checking in and, and getting my badges. You know, I, I think they're all great stores. I mean, it just, I, I, you'll, you'll find the same con uh, content in both catalogs, whether it's the iTunes catalog, whether it's, you know, Microsoft catalog for music or, or 7 Digital, right? And it's just, you know, the, the collection of music and then what you can do with it. So I think we have a unique experience on with BlackBerry where you can get it from all three platforms, whether you get it on Playbook or BlackBerry or get it off the web. And then just being able to make, you know, share that music with your friends. Um, you know, on, on BlackBerry, when you listen to music, it actually shows in BlackBerry Messenger what you're listening to, and yes. your friend can then BBM you like, oh, what's that song? Oh, I see that song. That's, is it good? And they're like, yeah, yeah. You can just go right to 7 Digital on your device and get it, or if you're on the Playbook, you can download it there. So, um, so from a developer perspective, I really love an app, right? So, you know, the success of an app is getting onto a device, right? Getting eyes on your application, word of mouth then spreads, and your app gets popular. But if you have a paid application, which you know a lot of apps are, and justifiably developers put a lot of work in an app, you want to you know, monetize it. With in-app, you can get that app on the device because the app is generally free, and then you sell something, whether you unlock the full application, or if it's, you know, if it's a game, you sell levels, or anything like that. So yeah, I mean, it's uh, in-app is definitely the way to go for development right now. We see that, uh, that, and also we have an advertising service as well. So we actually took seven different advertising um, aggregators and then put them all together. So you only actually sign up once with BlackBerry, and then you can use those ads um, across your applications.